Anderson, we come to you from the heart of Iowa, the geographic center, <coughs> Story County, Iowa, where we're going to tell you the story of this Republican debate from the vantage point of 15 loyal Story County Republicans, all a member of the Story County Republican Club, or the Young Republicans of Iowa. Thank you for letting us be here with you today to watch the debate. Thank you, everybody. All right. We watched all two hours very carefully. The first question I want to ask all of you, do you think this debate was good for the Republican Party? Raise your hand if you do. 15 people, looks like 14, 13 raised their hand. You two did not think it was good for the party? No. I, why, why not, Jim? It brought up a lot more division and stuff, but I still think it, it, was, work, it was worth the time. Okay, you thought it was good for the party, though? Yes, it was great for the party. Great to have a conversation with uh, Iowans and people across the United States to see who our next leader will be for the Republican Party. Okay, of these 15 people, 14 say they're still undecided at this point. Jim, who we just talked to, is the only one who's not. He says he's ready to vote for Trump right now. And here's what I want to ask you about who you thought did the best during this debate. Basically, who do you think won the debate? I'm going to do it in alphabetical order, to be fair. Anyone think Doug Burgum did the best? That's zero. Anyone think Chris Christie did the best? He certainly got most of the airtime. A lot of the airtime, not most of the airtime. How about Ron DeSantis? How many of you think Ron DeSantis is the best? That's two people. How about Nikki Haley? One, two, three, four people. Asa Hutchinson? Mike Pence? Zero. Vivek Ramaswamy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tim Scott? Okay, so this panel here thinks Ramaswamy won the debate. Tell me why you think he won the debate. I was reminded of the time when Vivek was talking about the national identity situation. And uh, I know Pence brought up that uh, that wasn't really an issue, but I think it was a generational problem because Vivek understands that young folks don't really understand that people my age don't really love America. And if you don't love it, you can't protect it. And I think if we fix that problem, then people will, as a, as a natural byproduct, want to protect America and what it stands for. This guy sitting next to you is the mayor of Nevada, the town that we're in. This is Brett Barker. Mayor, you picked Nikki Haley. She came in second place in our informal, non-scientific poll here. Tell me why you think she'd well. Well, I think out of all the candidates, she really had moments that stood out. I don't think she had moments that harmed her. And she came across as poised and confident and prepared. And I think uh, out of the candidates, I think she helped herself the most tonight. Chris Christie talked a lot. He was anti-Trump. Tell me why you didn't like what Chris Christie had to say. He was just argumentative, pretty much, and um, out after Trump. You don't think there was any logic to what he said, though? I think it was a lot of revenge. A lot of revenge. Okay. What do you think, any of you, was the big moment of this debate? Any of you have a big moment in mind? This gentleman right here, I'm going to walk over to you. Excuse my reach, Jim. Sorry about that. Well, uh, for me, it was when uh, DeSantis let Vivek get to his right on Ukraine. And if DeSantis' whole goal here is to beat Trump, he's going to have to meet Trump on that issue. And so uh, ultimately, if DeSantis is willing to do that, then I see Vivek as the clear winner there. So does anyone here, as I was saying, 14 of you were undecided when this started. Are any of you, after one debate, closer to saying, I know who I'm going to vote for? Raise your hand if you're a little bit closer. This gentleman right here, tell me who you're closer to voting for or supporting in the Iowa caucuses. Um, there's a few, probably Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. Um, and then um, also Vivek Ramasamy, I think that he uh, kind of went in there as a bulldog a little bit, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Who else raised their hand about that? This gentleman right here. Once again, excuse me. Who are you closer to supporting in the caucuses? So for me, I, I'm closer to Vivek. I mean, just the more and more I've heard of this guy, I, again, I'm one of the people I knew nothing about him, didn't even know he existed, thought he had a funny name. Then the more and more I've heard of this guy, the more it's like he has good opinions, he has good policies, um, he says a lot of what um, he believes, and he's willing to uh, discuss that with people if they disagree with him, and I really respect that. Let me ask, I mean, Chris Christie and Mike Pence had quibbles with him. They yeah. thought he was a little programmed. D d does that mean anything to you that they said that? I don't know. I feel like uh, Chris Christie especially is just kind of there to be a human wrecking ball and just kind of knock people out of the race. Um, this gentleman was nodding his head. Did you think so? Uh, yeah. I honestly didn't know too much about Vivek before. Uh, I know he's flip-flopped on a couple issues thus far. Um, I appreciated him getting into it with uh, both Pence as well as Chris Christie because I thought they made him look kind of fake and kind of just like he wants to 
go with whatever the top polling issue is. That's what he wants to do at the time. Final question for you, and this man wasn't at the debate. Um, his name is Donald Trump. So we wanted to devote most of our time to the people who were at the debate. But how many of you think Donald Trump hurt himself by not being part of this debate? Raise your hand, please. One, two, three, four. How many of you think he helped himself by not being at the debate? Most of you, why do you think he helped himself? And this is Deborah, she's the leader of the Young Republicans here, the chapter here, the Iowa Young Republicans. Tell me why you think he helped himself. I think he helped himself just because he wasn't able to um, say anything that people would use against him in the general election. And he's able to kind of run off his record and not worry about um, being seen as bombastic or something negative. Thank you, Deborah, and thank you all of you for talking to us. We really appreciate watching this with you.